Yo, what's up? We got a new keyboard monitor update. Uh, this is a big one, 1.2. Me and Osage are very excited. Uh, we have a lot of new features, including zero keys mode, so only the core detector. We have a control from the push, including the core detector. You can now see it on the push. We'll check it out later in the video. Uh, we have a button to toggle between the chord fade out or turn it off so the last chord stays on the screen. Uh, the scale mode now highlights all the octaves, where the keyboard uh, size and zoom settings are now saved with the live set. We have a few users who use the keyboard monitor in their templates, so now all the settings are saved with the project. Uh, we added visualization for the sustain pedal, pitch bend, and the modulation wheel on the small rack keyboard. We had some requests for that. And now we have a menu to also display, to choose to display only the sharps, only the flats, or both. And a bunch of other small fixes, bug fixes, and visual stuff. Let's check it out. Okay, let's open this up. Uh, I just have a piano tech here. You can use whatever plugin, of course. So first, let's start with the small keyboard. Uh, we have zero keys mode. will only show us the chord. We also have it on the big keyboard, uh, which we have also zoom. Uh, it shows only the chord and sustain pedal. Now, the chord will fade out, will disappear. You can click keep chord to just keep the last played chord. It just stays there. Nice. Uh, if you've seen the keyboard, it's right here under the chord. That's the button to keep the chord or to fade it out. Sweet. Uh, above 25 keys, you will also see now the sustain pedal and the mod wheel and the pitch bend wheel. So we added that to the small keyboard. Let's go to the big keyboard here. Let's go 49. Uh, in scale mode, now it will highlight the scale across all keyboard, all the octaves. We're still labeling just the first octave, but all the notes across all octaves will be highlighted according to the scale, and it's also synchronized to Ableton's global scale. Let's turn it off. Uh, we also have here the accidentals menu when we can show only the sharps or only flats or both. Nice. Let's check out the controls from the push and how to access the hidden core detector from the push, which also works on the push standalone. Let's check it out. Okay, so once you load up the keyboard monitor, from the push, you can turn on and off the scale mode. We can change the root note, the scale type, the key size for the rack keyboard, the size for the floating keyboard, the zoom, accidentals, and if to fade out the chord or not for the core detector. Now, if we click on the detail view of the device to go into it, the bank or the tab name is actually going to be the core detector. I'm going to see it right there. Keyboard monitor 1.2. If you already got it in the past, check your email. You should receive the new update, free updates for life. I'll catch you next time.